And we are talking now as we follow up on an organized retail theft ring here. And that paired with inflation, that's pushing a lot of businesses to the brink of closure. And the price tag is coming back on those of us who are out buying things. Yeah, so now some major retailers are making drastic changes to prevent this. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke hearing from the Retail Association about what's being done about this. And Jordan, we're already seeing this here in the Valley. I've seen some big changes at the Target I go to at Christown. Yeah, it's, you're going to be noticing some of those changes. Next time you come to a TJ Maxx, a Marshalls, or a Home Good, you may notice that some of the store associates are taking a page at a law enforcement's book, and they're actually wearing body cameras. We're told by the parent company that that's to try and de-escalate confrontation and prevent shoplifting. But while we were researching this story about organized retail theft, not only is it changing the way we shop inside some of these stores, but it's actually costing you more when you're checking out. Do you remember going up to Arrowhead Mall? Yeah. It may not look very organized, but police say this is an example of an organized retail crime operation. Okay, after you grabbed those things, what did you do with them? So. Over the course of months, two thong thieves were caught on camera stealing $14,000 worth of merchandise from Victoria's Secret in Glendale and Phoenix. February. Eight separate times, court documents say these two, who are now facing charges, right. were stealing skivvies. In part to deter theft like this, some retailers are taking a page out of law enforcement's book. Charges. We're told the parent company of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods have put body cameras on trained loss prevention associates over the past year. In a statement to ABC 15, we're told in part, video footage is only shared upon request by law enforcement or in response to a subpoena. Body cameras are just one of the many ways that we work to support a safe store environment. They go on to say that we hope that these body cameras will help us de-escalate incidents and deter crime. You see all kinds of things happening at retail that never used to be in place before. We heard from Michelle Almer with Arizona Retailers Association. She also sits on the board of AZ Organized Retail Crime Association. She says large theft at retailers cost the company to invest in locking up products, banning large bags, spending money on armed guards, and push some stores to shutter, which can create food deserts. All of this can lead retailers to increasing prices, costing you more. And then there's the sales tax impact, hurting the greater community. They sometimes are sold outside the country. So that sales tax dollars is lost completely. So that impacts what services the state and the cities can provide. The crime has cost Arizona retailers billions over the years, leading the Maricopa County Attorney's Office to ramp up the prosecution of cases with more than 500 in 2022, more than 600 last year, and so far this year on pace to set a new record. Michelle says Arizona is lucky. This is a priority to prevent it from happening. Because if the trend continues, shopping can look different. But if you see an entire row of locked cases, that's unusual. And that is something that I think is, is probably, we're probably going to have to see more of that. So we're told when someone does steal, loss prevention will take notice. Typically, they won't chase after someone, but your photo is taken. Cameras are always watching. And if that amount, and it's reoccurring, reaches a felony amount, that's when police will get involved. And MCAO has done a lot of work on this over the past, after the past few years. For more information on what MCAO and the Attorney General's office are doing to try and prevent any sort of organized retail theft, you can click on this story on our website at abc15.com. We'll send it back to you guys. Well, that's a headline you don't typically hear. Thong thieves, right? $14,000 worth of underwear stolen. I mean, it's something that you kind of, you know, you giggle at, you think, oh, they're stealing underwear. But it's obviously a very serious issue with far-reaching effects. Jordan, thank you for this update.